Oliveira, yes sir. <laughs> yes sir, let's have. I, if I if Pereira wins and my boy uh, Oliveira uh, wins, I get 200 bucks from Prodigy Prep. We're betting 100 on each. Watch, I'm going to give y'all my reaction. All right? Listen. The UFC 300 is right here. And we're going to tell y'all who the winners are going to be, okay? This is my prediction for the UFC 300 fights, all right? We're going to go right here. This We're going to start with the bottom. Right here. The Brazilian versus Garberniti. I don't really know about them, but simple. The Brazilian is winning. But I'm not going to lie to you. The American looks tough, but I think the Brazilian is going to win. And then going on right here, Andrea versus Rodriguez. I got the Andrea girl. The Andrea girl just looks like she, like, she'll see me and she'll just straight up start punching me. Out of nowhere, for no reason to. Out of nowhere, for no reason to. And then we're going to go with Miller versus, what does that say? Oh, Miller versus Green. I got green, bro. I'm sorry. Like, Miller literally looks like my principal teacher in Morse pa or where I used to go to. Um, it's just simple as that. I don't I don't know. And then now right here, we go on to Harrison versus Holm. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't think they're bad. They're a little ugly. Uh, mm. I'm going to go with Harrison. I was watching the press conference. Harrison just looks like she has more confident. You know what I'm saying? She looks a little nervous. Uh, the, 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 the home girl. The, I think her name's like Holly Home or something like that. And then the Harrison girl, I think her name's like Kayla. Simple as that. Lopes versus Yusuf. I got... Mm, this is going to be tough, bro. I ain't going to lie, bro. Now, you know I rock with the Brazilian, but I'm going to have to go with Yusuf, bro. I'm going to have to go with Yusuf, bro. I'm not going to lie to you. Um... I'm going to go ahead and go, Bo, it's Bo Nickel, right, versus Burn Age. I got Bo, simple as that. Bam. Sterling versus Qatar. I got Sterling, Um, because I know Sterling. I don't know the other guy. Then we're going to go with Prover, Prochaska versus Rakitic. I'm going to go, yeah, no, I kind of want to go with Los, but I don't know. I don't know. I feel like if I just choose all the Brazilians, like that's what I'm rooting for. I'm, I'm rooting for the Lopes, but I feel like the other guy's going to win, Yusuf. Um, but I, I'm rooting for all the Brazilians, you know what I'm saying? But um, simple as that. Right here, Pro versus Rec, I don't know. I'm going to go with the Pro Zach guy. I'm going to go with the Pro Zach. Yeah, I'm going to go with the Pro Zach guy, whatever. Simple as that. Um, Max Holloway, right? Max Holloway. I'm going to go with Max Holloway. I don't even got to say the other guy's name. I'm serious. I don't even got to say the other guy's name. Uh, we're going to go with Max Holloway. Hold on. My following moved the sub count right here, bro. I think Madden's satisfying, bro. What do you mean? Oh, hell nah, bro. Like this dude saying it. This dude Mario saying hell nah like he knows the UFC, bro. Simple as that. And then, Holloway ain't winning. Holloway's winning because, number one, they put, they put the money up. Holloway's going to win. Trust me. And also... While they were doing the interviews, they literally said if Holloway wins this match, he'll be the only UFC play, uh, player to do a certain thing. I forgot what it was. But simple as that, he's winning that. Now we're going to go on to Charlie. Charlie versus Armin. Now listen, do I have to show y'all or no? Do I have to show y'all or no? Do I really got to show y'all or no? Y'all heard it? Where's my belt? Now listen, obviously he's not fighting for the belt. But y'all heard it here. If y'all don't understand Portuguese, if y'all don't understand Portuguese, I'll let y'all know. He said, it's Charles du Bronx. You know what I'm saying? I'd knock your ass out on me, Prodigy would get. Bam. Why you close your eyes when you punch? Because look, I don't know if y'all can see. I'll turn around the camera. 
all these lights up in my face, bro. And I'm looking at this AFK thing, bro. Listen, while I push my... I don't... I squint. I squint. I don't, I, no, nobody was closing their eyes, bro. Listen. Excuses, bro. Yeah, Prodigy. I actually like to knock your ass out. I promise you with one punch. I, I'm doing... This is my combo on Prodigy because you won't expect it, right? A little fake punch to the left. A fake punch. Like, what do you, what do you mean fake punch? I would fake punch in the stomach. He would go to block it right there. Bow right on the head. Uh, a little RB and B. And when you play UFC, you hold RB and then you hold Y or B. I forgot what it was. When you punch, you go like this. And then out of nowhere, while his head is, while his head is falling, I would go like this. Boom. I, like, I damn near hurt myself. Did y'all hear that? I know y'all heard that. I damn near hurt myself. Boom. Prodigy's on the ground bleeding. I feel bad for him. It's simple as that, bro. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, this is where we're going to go. We're going to go with Charles Oliveira, y'all. I just have much respect for him. Um, I like his story a lot. As y'all know, he grew up. He, they said he couldn't play soccer anymore because he wasn't going to be able to walk, this and that. He overcame everything. Uh, got the belt. He took him mad long to get a title fight. Got the belt. Um, it was tough, bro. You know what I'm saying? I love Charles Oliveira. He's humble, too. I, I was watching the press conference, and he was talking a lot of good stuff. You know what I'm saying? He's like, I got respect for Armin, but, um, you know what I'm saying? I got him, like, four or five rank where, like, I fight him. And he said he is the... F Isn't Armin, like, the fifth rank right now? But simple as that. I got a lot of respect for Charles Oliveira, bro. His story is just inspirational. Uh, it's mad cool. He deserves the world, bro. No cap. And he works hard, bro. Um... Armin finna ragdoll him, bro. Then you don't know the UFC. I'm sorry. You you don't know the UFC. If you really know, Charles Oliveira hasn't lost a title fight in over seven years. Um, also, Charles Oliveira has the most finishes in the UFC history. Yes, I said that. UFC history. Um, the most submissions of all time. Like, bro. Charles du Bronx Oliveira, bro. Y'all know his name. Came from the favelas, bro. You know what to do. Bro, Nick, no cap. You've watched Max three fights. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, Marino, you are 100% correct. This will be my third UFC match that I've ever watched. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, you got a spot on, bro. You got a spot on, bro. You got a spot on right there. Max three UFC fights. This will be my third one. Um, But I have watched Anderson Silva back in the day. <laughs> Don't be. <laughs> Spider. What do y'all know about Spider? But that's another thing for another day. Simple as that, I got Charles Oliveira. And then Zhang versus Yan. I got Zhang, bro. I got Zhang. Bro, I was looking at them, bro. They're both wholesome as heck, bro. I feels like I feel like they're gonna hug each other in the in UFC. They they're gonna go to fight and then they're just gonna give each other hugs, bro. I don't know what's going on, but they look super nice. I, I got Zhang though. I got Zhang. She just looks like she's like more on business, no lie. And then Alex Pereira versus Jamal Hill. Now listen. Right off the bat, I got uh Alex Pereira. Simple as that. Jamal Hill, he talks too much. Now, listen, I'm not going to lie to you. I saw a video yesterday, which I was like, dude, this is kind of wholesome. Jamal Hill walked up to Alex Pereira, asked for a signature, this and that, picture. And he was like, what does Shama mean? Because you always say Shama. And Shama means, I, 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 like, let's go. I, let's get it. You know what I'm saying? But, um, but uh, what's it called? But then I watched the press conference, bro. Alex Pereira's just chilling. And then this dude's talking mad trash. Holding up the little stone thing. Like, you know what I'm saying? No, bro. He's not, bro. Pereira. Pereira's gonna win, y'all. I got Pereira winning. And on top of that, y'all, I have $100 up on the line with Brady, which is Prodigy Prep. If Pereira wins, I get 100 If Hill wins, I give him 100 Um, And then Charles Oliveira right here. Charlie's Du Bronx. Um... I'm going to go and we bet 100 as well. So if Charles win, I get 100. If uh, Armin wins, he gets 100. Now listen, I'm not going to lie to you. I don't know too much about the Armin dude. Is he good? Because right now he's favorited 225. I'm pretty sure 240. He's favorited to win. Dude, dude, do you guys know if he's good or no? He's good, but I don't know. Is he good? Because I, I, I'm I like, damn, bro. Charles Oliveira, number one ranked, is the underdog by low-key a decent amount. 
Du Bronx got it. That's what I'm saying, bro. I'm, I'm rooting for Du Bronx, bro. You know what I'm saying? Shali, Shali. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's just mad motivate. Look at him. Started off here, bro. But if I was Charles Oliveira, I'd want to fight and get the belt back. Well, where's this dude, Islam? He is he hiding, bro? Like, what's good, bro? <laughs> what's good, bro? I got, I got. Look at this. Ooh, I don't know who's gonna win, y'all. What? I got Charles Oliveira, obviously, but I don't know if this guy's good. So I'm going into this match not knowing, like. I just know. Look, taking bet eight more minutes. We'll see, y'all. Islam fricked him up. Come on, bro. I saw a video that Joe Rogan and Dana White, or I think it was Joe Rogan, they literally said if Charles Oliveira fought like who he usually is, he would have won. But they said that he kind of like quit, right? That's bad, Charles Oliveira. Not gonna lie, Charles. Come on, lock in. But, um, what do you mean, cat? <laughs> what are y'all saying, cat, bro? Y'all want me to search up the video? Y'all want me to search up the video now? Islam is good. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like he's probably he's obviously better because he beat Charles. But do you guys think if they rematch, who would win, bro? Islam or Charles, bro? Probably Islam, right? Oh no, easy. Islam is just a treat, cheese try hard, bro. I got my boy Charles Oliveira winning. I promise you that, bro. The, the, the motive that he has in the heart, bro, is bigger than UFC for him, bro. Bigger than UFC for him. All right, but I'm not going to lie to y'all. That was my prediction. Alex Pereira is going to get, he's going to keep the belt. He's going to defend it. And then Charles Oliveira right here, he is going to win. He's going to stay at number one. And then he's going to get a title fight. You know what I'm saying? He's going to get a title fight. Uh, His heart? What do you mean his heart? <laughs> bro, striking in Russian. Yeah, no, no, that's what I'm saying, bro. What time we slide in? Like what? What time does it start? Six o'clock, right? What time does it start, right? Six o'clock, right? His heart will stop after getting smoked. Come on, bro. Chill, bro. My boy Charles. I'm trying to watch that. But 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 listen. Shout out uh Charles Alvera. Um I'ma meet him one day. Real talk. I'm gonna take a picture with him just like this. Or they, what do they they go like this? <laughs> Alright, but simple as that, bro. Um, I'm not going to lie to y'all. It's kind of cheese that Brady, I'm giving Brady $100. I'm not going to lie to you, bro. Because if I'm giving Brady $100, but the other guy's favorite, why am I only going to win $100? I'm not going to lie to you. You know what I'm saying? Soft eyes? What do you mean soft eyes, bro? You know what he's... It's crazy thing that I would knock out Prodigy Prep in two in one round. La Sav, I'd probably knock him out in two rounds. Marito, I'd knock it. I'd, bro, Marito, Marito, I don't know what you look like. I don't know any of that, Marito. I know damn well I'm knocking you out. I'm, I'm, I'm breaking the world record. Joe Rogan, D D Dana White, they're all gonna be like, oh, the first time in UFC history, knock the quickest knockout of all time. Simple as that, bro. Brady, you would not be minus 500. You would be plus 1,000. I'd take your jaw with an unexpected left hook. Well, now I know, right? The thing is, people don't know that I have the heart. I have the, the fire in me that will knock anybody out. But simple as that, bro. Listen, I'm ending it. I got to go because I got to upload this thing and make it go on my YouTube. And then I got to screen record and then upload it to my High Nicholas Live. So if y'all not following High Nicholas Live, go follow it. But yo, I'm hyped for this UFC 300. It's going to be nice, y'all. It's going to be nice. I'll see y'all later, bro. Uh, dub, yeah, nah, it wasn't even a little stream, just a little thing, but I'll see y'all. Maybe no stream, most likely no, because I'm going to be doing the prediction, or the, what am I talking about? I'm going to be.